Hello girls, how are you tonight? Well, i am uh, been doing some more of these um, pocket letters, which I'm addicted to. I can see how people get addicted to it. Here's a new twist on them. I bought this, it's called uh, Lavender, and it's scented drawer liners. You get this at the dollar store. There's about mm, one, two, three, six sheets of it. Quite long. Uh, does it say the size? 42 centimeters by 58 centimeters, and there's six sheets in it. So, what I did was I um, took and did the same thing. I uh, cut the paper up and laid it down and smells like lavender pretty cool um if you have a, a somebody who likes scented things then this is the thing to do i i did this for fun i seen it at the dollar store and i thought wouldn't that be cool scented paper so um this had lilacs on it of course because it has a lilac smell I added some pearls on this one and a little bicycle clip on that one and my butterfly clips here and um, some rhinestones there and a little flower and bling and a couple little flowers here and they've got the purplish tint to it and then I just put some glitter, whatever they call these. Um, you know when you get old you forget your words. Anyways, you guys know what they are. Glitter. Okay. And it smells like lavender. Then, on the back, if I got this in focus, yes. Okay. Uh, I put a whole bag of these glitter things in. And I got them from the dollar store. And these have little flowers on sequins, that's it. And they have little flowers, and uh, they're quite cool. Um, I like them better than the actual sequins because it has little flowers in it, and they're all different colors. So I put a bunch of those in. I put um, a little sheet of pink uh, rhinestones and some of the big rhinestones. And then I had these hearts that I got in a package, rose, not hearts, sorry, roses. And I'm going to put my letter under one and tea under the other one, except I can't find my tea bags right at this moment, but I will find them. Um, I put some paper clips in here, and I um, these are the ones that Katrina, that's Katrina, Christina, sorry Christina, uh, has been showing on her videos and uh, you put these ones this way and I put hope on that one that has a little butterfly on the back and this one has a little bow and on the other side it has believe and then I made some of these washi tape um, banner ones uh, I gotta get closer here sorry Okay, so I got two washi tape ones, one that says believe, one that says hope, one that has a bow on it, one that has a butterfly. So those are going in here. These things are quite neat. I have to give it to the girl who came up with this idea, and it's a rage because everybody's doing it. And by the way, if anybody wants to trade pop cards, um, just leave me a comment because I've done about six of them now. So um, I put in some, uh, late at night, twine, and some three different washi tapes there. So this kind of turned out kind of cute, and it has a little lavender smell to it. Um, so there's something else you can uh, do with these pot cards. Make scented ones like when I was growing up everything was scent. You had to scratch it. Now if you remember those days, years old as I am, unless they still have them, I don't know. 
Anyways, um, that's the first one I made. Then I went back to my Graphic 45 because I really do like Graphic 45. And this one, do I have the book? No, I don't. Um, it has all the telephone all the series in it. Maybe I do. Uh, this is called uh, Parallel. Well, I'm no good for words, so um, Papal Par. Anyways, I'm just going to show it to you. My English is uh, not very good. Wait a minute, get it in focus there. There it is. And it has all kinds of telephone stuff in it. And typewriters. Actually, I like the paper. Cars. Yeah. Who doesn't like a Fig 45? You have to be nuts not to like it. Well, you always got something for somebody. If it's not that paper, it's something else. Anyways, in this one, um, I kind of did the uh, same thing as what I did with my other one. I took the paper line, of course, and cut it all. And then I popped up all the different telephones that they had on the paper. So the, the bottom paper is just um, one of the papers out of the paper line. And then I cut the telephones out of it. I put Just For You on this and Cuteness on the bottom. And I have a little banner here that says Friend and on that side it says Hello. And I think this turned out um, kind of cute. And on the back of this one, I have some little tags. My letter's going to go there. Some washi tape. That's the big wide ones. I did some more of those little um, washi tape paper clips. I put in some uh, pearls and bling. This is smaller bling. I put in more of those sequins. I put in some wooden hearts. And I put a little um, rose... Um, thing in the middle, which she can use that um, for whatever. So I thought this one turned out um, kind of cute too. So and I love the front of it. I love Graphic 45. You can't beat it um, for, you know, their paper. Now I've ordered a bunch of paper from um, Tracy at Art Attack, so I'm going to make a few pockets uh, letter pockets with those when I get the paper and it's tilde paper so um, I'm kind of excited to get it and I ordered some um, stamps from her so I have a couple of projects in mind um, for that and I can hardly wait to get the stuff to do it so this is another pocket letter I did and um, I only did two tonight I don't know why because I was watching Walking Dead I'm a big Walking Dead fan so Oh, that's a TV show for views who don't know um, what it is. The other thing I was playing with is um, I had these little owls in my stash. And uh, I uh, decorated the back with a flower. And then put the owl in the side in a paper clip. So I, I did several of those. And then I did one with the... Just the flower and the bow on the back um, in the gold. And these ones are all in blue. But I thought they turned out kind of cute. Um, lots of people like owls. And I'm going to put them in my um, pocket pages and um, pocket letter uh, when I get around to doing that color. I think that's about all I've been doing today. Not much. Uh, been running around a lot today so didn't get a chance and cleaning my house that even though I've cleaned it now it doesn't look like I've ever cleaned it I don't know uh, nobody here likes to do dishes and I have to do them so they just accumulate anyways um that's kind of the projects that I've been working on um leave a comment and anybody that would like to um, trade uh, pocket letters um, leave me a message because I'd be more than happy to do that and um, the only thing that I, I was wondering and I know that I watch it and they said you're supposed to 
write a little bit about yourself. What exactly are you supposed to write about yourself and what you like and what you don't like? And um, I haven't got one yet with anybody else's letter in it to see what everybody's kind of writing. But if anybody has an idea, um, like I wrote one and sent it off, but now I'm thinking that I might not have done it right. So um, I've been looking through videos and everybody says they're writing a letter, but nobody really gives you any um, details as to what they're writing in the letter. Um, you're supposed to put a little bit about yourself and your likes and your dislikes, I guess. Um, that's basically what you're supposed to do. Now, is that, um, I'm assuming that's for scrapbooking or for crafting, what you like to do and what you don't like to do. I mean, I like to do everything, so I don't know how I would write that one up. But, um, anyways, if anybody has an idea of what you're supposed to put in your letter, like detailed, um, then that would be helpful. Because all the ones I've watched, um, I mean, somebody must have said at some point, this is what you write in a letter, but I can't find a video on it. So I'm not exactly... Um, <sighs> sure that I'm putting in the right stuff. Um, anyways, thanks for watching. I, I really appreciate it. Um, please um, sub. It's it's nice for uh, if you want to be on a design team or something like that, that you have um, subscribers. And uh, um, I appreciate that. I don't get a chance to uh, thank everybody. So for everybody that I have missed, um, I, I really am grateful that you're subbing to me and that you even remotely like what I'm doing. And um, if you have anything that I have uh, done that you would like to see a tutorial on, um, leave me a message because there's so many tutorials out there now on just about everything that it's hard to do a tutorial on on um, something new. Uh, I know now when I watch YouTube, I have seen most of the tutorials. Uh, the odd time somebody will come up with something uh, different. And I think, wow, that's kind of neat. I'll try that. And um, especially for embellishments and stuff like that. But, uh, I mean, this is new and this is great. So... You know, maybe if somebody has an idea that would like to see a tutorial on something, um, just let me know. Uh, there's lots of new people, beginners out there, and, and uh, they want to see how to do something. And I'm um, not a great tutorialist because I make a lot of mistakes and try to cover up everything and can't find what I'm looking for and about 50,000 other things. But um, I would try to put one together. Uh, for anybody who's interested in that, uh, I've done a couple of tutorials, but nobody said much, so I figure I must be doing a bad job at it. But anyways, um, leave me a message uh, one way or the other, and uh, I'm going to be working on some more keys. I got a big call for them, and uh, I haven't put up my banner yet, which I have to do. I have a lot of things to do. I, I kind of got stuck on making these things, and it's so much fun. I can do it while I'm watching TV, so it's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, on the back of these ones, I just stuck playing cards. I didn't like the fact that it was just plain, and I thought, well, I'll use playing cards, and then um, they can cut them in half and use them for their washi tape. So, uh, and it makes the back of it look a little bit more... Um, decorative. Actually, I kind of like it. I thought if you can get some of those fancy um, playing cards, you could actually use them for your decoration, which would be cool too. So, uh, there's lots of things that you can do with these pocket letters. It's really great. I haven't put my charms on this yet, but uh, I will. So, stay tuned. Um, I got a busy week this week, so I don't know when I will be on again, maybe Wednesday, um, and uh, I'll try to come up with something new. Um, I have a few junk journals to make, which I haven't done. Um, I have a few things on the go that people have wanted, and I just haven't got to them yet. So um, 
anyways, uh, again, if anybody wants to swap, uh, please let me know. I, I'd be more than happy to. Okay, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you later in the week.